you and many other consumers out there have probably experienced before things like where your pants or your jeans are dry, but the pockets are still wet. And that's because the conductometric sensor could sense that the outside of your jeans were nice and hot, but it could not sense the dampness of the pockets. Rather than relying on touch, we send a signal through the drum to measure humidity levels. Some dryers, especially opening price point, entry level price point kind of models, aren't gonna have any sort of sensors inside of the dryer. That's a very easy cost to take out and not pass on to the consumer. And so with all of your cycles, even if you have you know multiple different cycles, they're all gonna be based off a of time that the manufacturer set. So even though you might have options to select from, those entry level price point dryers are truly just all time based. They have no idea how wet or how dry the clothing is inside of your drum. What a lot of other dryers have, and some of our models have as well, is what's called a conductometric sensor. This is a bar sensor, usually sits somewhere like here, maybe down in the lower lip, somewhere usually on the front part of your dryer. But basically conduct means touch, so it's a touch sensor. So while we still have times that we set for all of the, the dryer cycles, um, it's a little bit more sophisticated in that this sensor lives inside the dryer and as clothing touches it, sends a signal back to the dryer, hey, these things are still really wet or hey, these things are almost dry. When wet or damp clothing touches these two bars, electricity passes from one bar through the clothing to the other. So the wetter the item is, the more electricity that gets conducted and passes through, which is great. The downside here is of course, one, it relies on touch, and this is a pretty small surface area. So if you think about it living somewhere at the front of the dryer, your clothing has to make its way up to the front, touch this area, and hope that it's signaled to the drum in enough time, hey, we, we gotta keep going here. The other thing about this is that it's based off surface level touch. So this is where you and many other consumers out there have probably experienced before things like where your pants or your jeans are dry, but the pockets are still wet. And that's because the conductometric sensor could sense that the outside of your jeans were nice and hot, but it could not sense the dampness of the pockets. Sweatpant waistbands is another big one. Fitted sheets. <laughs> you go to get it out of the dryer and guess what? The fitted sheet is piping hot, but everything else is balled up inside of it and it's still wet because again, the conductometric sensor couldn't sense the other fabric balled up inside like the pillowcases. So what Electrolux did on our 600 series, the top of the line models, is we developed something called a capacitive sensor. So rather than relying on touch, we send a signal through the drum to measure humidity levels. That way we don't have to worry about fabrics hitting a small surface area and we don't have to worry about them making their way up to this bar area to touch and signal to it. We send a signal through the drum, we measure those humidity and moisture levels and we automatically adjust the cycle time as needed. So if we're not picking up a whole lot of humidity, we know everything's pretty dry. We can speed up the drying time, end it a little bit sooner so we don't over dry your clothes. If we're sensing a lot of wet items, we know that we can add on some time so that we don't under dry. It's not a touch sensor, it senses through the fabric. So not only are we able to sense the surface level, but we're able to sense through the fabric as well. So that means your jean pockets are coming out dry. Your sweatpant waistbands are coming out more dry. Your fitted sheet is dry, plus the other sheets inside of it that we're detecting and measuring those humidity levels from.